Hello, my name is Ian McCall and this is a video from the Demoscopy Made Simple series on Lines Parallel. Lines Parallel are seen on the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. This parallel um, distribution of pigmentation is related to the ridges and uh, furrows, the dermatoglyphics that you see on the palms and the hands and the soles of the feet. It's the arrangement of the keratin. And it's unique to these areas. So what's, what are the other two terms that you have to know? You have to know the terms furrows and ridges. Ridges are usually the clear thickened area in between and the pigment is usually in furrows. This is the classic benign um, distribution pigment in the narrow furrows and the clear ridges and usually the ridges have little white dots along them representing the openings of the eccrine ducts. So what are the two patterns that we have to look at? We have to look at a parallel furrow pattern which is the common one with a pigment like that or a parallel ridge pattern where instead all the pigments in the thick ridges and the this, the furrows are clear. We'll see these when we go on. So, parallel ridge is a melanoma or hemorrhage. Parallel furrow is just a benign nevus. Let's go and look at some of the others. Okay. Here you have a benign nevus lines parallel. Well, they're curved and parallel here, but that's what the dermatoglyphics are like on the uh, pans that are on the fingers. Now the ridges are these broad, clear areas, and the furrows are these narrow, pigmented areas. And if you look really carefully, you can see some small white markings here uh, of the openings of the eccrine ducts. This one is probably uh, an even better one just to show you. I mean, look at the, the lesion. It's very nondescript. There's really not a lot to, to see clinically. When you put the dermatoscope on it, though, you see the pigmentation in the furrows. Sure, there's a little bit of cross-hatching of pigment here going across the, um, uh, the ridge, but always look out at the edges of a lesion to see where the pigment is. And that will generally tell you this is just a nice, simple, parallel furrow pattern. So it's a very benign nevus um, with pigment in the furrows. But let's have a look at uh, some others. This was a subtle one on the sole of the foot. This is where some pairing had been done by a podiatrist. But look here at the areas of pigmentation. These thick broad areas are pigmentation in the ridges. The white area that you're seeing here, these are the furrows. Um, you can see it down here as well. The subtle thickish pigmentation is in the ridges and you've got the clear white furrows in between. Now this was an acral antigenous melanoma. It was an invasive one as well. So this is a parallel ridge pattern Look at the thickened, pigmented ridges and the white furrows in between. Let's look at the much more obvious one. <clears throat> Sorry, we'll need to make this smaller. My apologies. Let's get it down to 100. <clears throat> now, first of all, this image is courtesy of Jean-Yves Gouin from France um, and the Scans blog. This was the lesion, obviously a very suspicious clinical lesion with very irregular edges, dark um, variation, clearing in this area here. And then when you put the dermatoscope on it, look at these thick dark ridges and the clear um, furrows in between. So pigmented ridges with the white furrows at the sides. This is the parallel ridge pattern of a very definite acral uh, melanoma. 
just look at that this really shows you the darkened edges. Sometimes you'll see the little clear openings of the um, eccrine ducts, but they've probably been invaded by the melanoma in this, and you just won't see them. But lastly, not all parallel or ridge patterns are in fact melanoma. Some congenital nevi can actually give you a parallel ridge pattern. And I'll need to get an example of that later. But look at this one. This is the talon noir, a bit of subcorneal hemorrhage. And this can give a parallel ridge pattern. Um, the easy thing, take a 15 blade, just gently trim away that corneal layer, and you trim away the blood. Uh, as well. So the point here is that not all parallel ridge patterns mean melanoma. So for heaven's sake, don't go excising one of these because you think it's a melanoma. Take a 15 blade and just gently pair the surface and you'll see that it, uh, it all comes away. So simple subcorneal bleeding can give a parallel ridge pattern as well. Look how well defined it is at the, at the edges here. That's against the more diffuse sort of edge that you'll get. Uh, with some some melanomas, although I must admit some can be very defined at one edge as well because of the nature of the melanoma process. Always have your 15 blade handy. So, parallel ridge, parallel furrow patterns, lines parallel. Thanks very much.